Since April, some 200 U.S. paratroopers exercised on a military training field in western Ukraine, together with the Ukrainian National Guard servicemen, as part of the Fearless Guardian training. And while a lot has been reported about the trainings themselves, we decided to take a look behind the scenes and check how the U.S. soldiers live on the Ukrainian military base and what they eat. This is the dining facility at the International Peacekeeping and Security Center that U.S. forces as well as Ukrainian National Guard come together and eat. And so you have both U.S. Uh, Army forces as well as Ukrainian National Guard sitting down together to eat meals. We came to the military canteen during dinner time. It was busy. Every soldier had to check in at the door before proceeding to help himself with what appeared to be a handsome variety of food, seasonal fruits, fresh vegetables, and two options of main course, chicken or fish. So Matthew, so how do you like the food here? It's what great. What do you think about the food? It's great, a lot of potatoes. Uh, the food is good, it's nutritious, and the living conditions are good. We have hot showers and a place to sleep, so you can't complain. This is the same canteen which President Petro Poroshenko visited back in April and which impressed him so much. When I was in the army, I cannot even dream about As it appeared, the food in this canteen for the entire training period for both American and Ukrainian soldiers was paid by the U.S. government. No wonder President Poroshenko liked it so much. But if after the exercise the soldiers can eat in the canteen, during the exercise they eat out in the field. And we learned what exactly? We're about to do a meal ready to eat, which is the U.S. Army's uh, mobile and uh, pre-planned, pre-coordinated meal. This is just one of 25 various menus which the U.S. soldiers can choose from. Each of them contains up to 1.5 thousand calories in summer menus and up to 2,000 calories in winter menus. So this is the main meal, chili with beans. We have a couple of side snacks, cornbread, perfect to go with chili. The main meal, as well as the side dish, can be warmed up using only those items which are in the MRE bag. Let's cook some meal. Sounds like a plan. So here is the main meal, the chili with beans. So the goal is you want to put this down on the bottom of your cooking packet. The reason is you want it as close to the heat source as possible. Afterwards, you add water into this bag and following chemical reaction, the water starts heating up, thus warming the main course. So we put it right there. It's a little bit hot, so I'm going to be careful. There we go. And then you have a meal that's cooked, ready to eat. Now, after having examined how the soldiers exercise and eat, we just needed to see how they live. This is actually one of the barracks that the U.S. Army soldiers are currently living in as part of Fearless Guardian, the partnership exercise between U.S. and Ukrainian National Guard forces. So if you actually see these soldiers live together, they train together, they work together. But did the soldiers expect to be living together in this huge room? And what did they expect overall? We decided to ask the soldiers themselves. I'm uh, very satisfied. It was actually better than what I was expecting. Honestly, yeah, I'm more than happy. What did you expect? I, I don't really know. You know, I had this sort of like a, you know, World War II bear sort of image in my head. But yeah, no, I'm very satisfied with, lim with living conditions. Looks like these guys are happy just about everything. And as if to prove that this place has been upgraded since World War II, this American paratrooper is using Wi-Fi just outside his barrack. Yes, we have excellent Wi-Fi in the barracks. Outside of the barracks is kind of spotty, but we still can connect pretty well. Yes, we're constantly in touch, in touch with our families through messaging and Skype. And just outside, following an intense day of war games, Ukrainian and American soldiers play other games, more peaceful ones, but also more stressful for the Americans, oh. who aren't used to playing soccer. Well, here the Ukrainians can teach their counterparts quite a bit. This is Volodymyr Sulub, Alexander Bryder and Oris Malkut reporting from Lviv region for Ukraine Today.